What's up everyone, Mr. NoobTube Gamer. Today we're playing Splitgate in 2024. This is a game I have a lot of history with. I've been playing this game since 2019 when it first came out in early access. And I remember when the game blew up in 2021, it felt like everyone and their mother was playing this game. It was that big. Didn't last very long though. It only lasted like maybe a month or two and then it kind of fizzled out. I ultimately stopped playing this game as soon as they started rolling out bots in the online multiplayer. That is just something that to me is a complete deal breaker. I do not play an online multiplayer game to play against bots. I talked about that in my Battlefront 1 video where it's just now all bots and you barely get any humans, but at least you know when you're playing against bots and when you're playing against real players in that game because it clearly outlines who's a human and who's not. But in Splitgate, they like to engage in a little bit of deception and they have real looking usernames. They don't actually say, hey, this guy is a bot. No, they make you think that you're playing against real people so that when you're playing for the first time and you're brand new and you're racking up like 30 kills and almost no deaths, you think, oh my god, I am so good at this game. I'm going to keep playing this game. That That's what they do to try to get you hooked. And for a lot of people, it works and they don't know any better. But for me, I know when things seem a little bit too easy. So all of a sudden, I go from having these really competitive games to just stomping on everyone. I'm like, I didn't suddenly become good at this game. And sure enough, I find out that the developers added bots into the online matchmaking. So I immediately uninstalled the game and never looked back until now. Thinking maybe they changed their mind. Maybe they realized how much this was killing their game and they decided to not do that shit anymore. So I come back in 2024 and I kept playing a bunch of games because they reset my rank in Splitgate because I guess I haven't played for a while and they did like an overhaul for the ranking. I don't know exactly, but that, that's, that shit pisses me off even more. Like if you're going to do it, we're like, oh, you know, we're just going to introduce bots to the game for new players. I am not a new fucking player. I've been playing this game for five years. I do not need to go through this bullshit. Okay. Same thing. Same reason why I quit PUBG is because they did that shit to me. And I'm like, I am not going to waste my time. My time is valuable. I'm not going to waste it playing against bots for multiple matches so I can rank up enough to finally play against humans. Fuck you. So that's why I haven't touched PUBG since like 2020 when they first started that shit. And it's why I haven't played this game since 2021 when they started adding bots into Splitgate. Now with this, I tried to make sure because like uh, it says you have to be level 10 in order to unlock certain game modes, which again, it pisses me off because I shouldn't have to be reset from the beginning in order to like play the full game that I've had for how many years now, but whatever. Okay, so I'm leveling up to level 10, unlock everything, thinking that maybe the bots are gone, but I just still have a funny feeling like in this gameplay that there were definitely bots in here. It just felt way too easy like, there's no way that these were all humans. There may have been some in there. I feel like I, I had, like, a mix, but I'm not... Again, I don't know. And, and them not being transparent about who's a bot and who's not is just... I lose my entire trust in the developers of this game and just, just, just don't want to play it. What would be funny, though, if the match that you're seeing in this gameplay was, in fact, a bot match that <laughs> I was sitting in a lobby, in a waiting lobby for three minutes where it was like a free-for-all and you were waiting for a match to start. So if that was the case, then that's even funnier that the, you put me in a waiting list, basically, only to have the entire match filled with bots. I, again, I don't know. But at the same time, I think I'd just rather play Halo where they don't have that shit implemented and I can trust fully every time I get into a game that it is in fact real human beings that I am competing against. Which really sucks because before they did this shit, I would have considered Splitgate to be better than any Halo game that I ever played. Because it's a solid game. Like, it has great gunplay, great movement. I love the whole portal mechanic of the game as well. And the map design is actually really damn good. So all the fundamentals are there and all the different game modes are also fun. And just, like, I can't really, like, complain about the game other than the bot problem, which is really what pisses me off because you have like an almost damn near perfect game right in front of you, but you guys just had to sabotage it. All in the name of trying to keep new players engaged that don't know any better, try to sell more battle passes, sell more cosmetics, because at the end of the day, yeah, like if people aren't playing very well and they, they aren't finding success in the game, then they're going to quit and move on to something else. And that's definitely what happened when the game blew up 
and became very popular. So they're like, oh, we, we gotta head in bots so that the new players don't leave and they think they're actually, like, gods at the fucking game. It's just scummy shit, and everyone who was responsible for implementing that and making that decision, they, they should be ashamed of themselves. They really should, because they had a game, they had a game that was just so fucking awesome and had so much going for it and really would have been a game that I would have put a lot more time into, but sadly they had to ruin it. So, I mean, there's other things I could talk about, like the game has full cross-play support so you can play with your friends and also that they're not really developing any new content for the game. The last big update was in late 2022 because apparently they're making a new game. Well, <laughs> I could tell you guys I ain't gonna support their new shit unless they, they change what they're doing and, and reverse course here with having bots in online multiplayer like what the fuck were they thinking so yeah unfortunately splitgate was a good game once upon a time but it's definitely not worth playing in 2024 it hasn't been worth playing since like 2021